Today we're out here cleaning up a homeless camp. New Sacramento encampments are constantly popping up, which means they need to be constantly broken down. It's kind of like when you're running in a hamster wheel and you're going really hard and you're not really going any places. And in the county, it falls on the shoulders of the sheriff's office to clean them out. This is probably gonna take us about two days and possibly three. The department's homeless outreach team spends every day working to combat homelessness. The community members are upset and they're fed up with all the crime that is occurring at these camps. This camp on private property along 48th Avenue has become an eyesore well within public view. This is definitely one of the larger camps that we've come across. And it's been growing for some time. They've already been given two days sometimes longer than that, to go ahead and vacate the area. When they do leave, tons of trash is left behind. This is the grossest part. You have no idea. I go home and I don't even go home. I have to just strip everything off at work and shower before I get in my car. But there's much more to it than just leveling an encampment. Recibiendo servicios or no? Our primary focus when we come to these camps is to provide shelter to the individuals. There are beds available, but sadly, won't be used. I'd say 99% of them do not want assistance. Deputies know as soon as one camp disbands, another will come together. It almost feels like it's pushing water from one area to the next. We're just moving them from one location to the next. It's really sad, you know? I never thought I'd be in this situation. Gloria Martinez once worked for SAC RT. An injury forced her to retire and she found herself living on the streets. I've worked hard all my life, took care of my three children, you know. Um, thank God they're not in this, you know, situation with me. She's one of the few to take deputies up on the offer for shelter. My future is going to be bright, you know. It's going to be brighter, and um, there, it's never too late for no, anyone. Oh, this is all abandoned property. And then if you, obviously, you know, to take out the trash from the shopping carts, yeah. This is all clear. Thank you, gentlemen. I appreciate it. The outreach team will continue to work. Hey, if there's anyone here that's interested in getting into a shelter, send them my way. Because for them, the job is never done. If you can help one person, it does make a difference. And until then, you just you do what you can and hope for the best. For photojournalist Jack Noonan, Jason Marks, KCRA 3 News. Now, deputies say there are beds available. All they need is for people to take use of them.